Okay, so the collective is here. Hi, Terran friends. Hope you're holding on okay against that ungainly station uh, in that ungainly station of yours. So I sent this hypercast to ask a favor. Nothing too pressing, but it would be really great if you could help me out on this. It turns out an aggressive entity identity matrix embedded from a few centuries back managed to hold itself up into a handful of my bio vessels, which wouldn't normally be a problem. But my reoptimization of my bio vessel placements sort of led them to co coalescing on the same few ships of one of my fleets. Long story short, I've partitioned off one of my fleets, and now it's super hostile to humans, so giving you a heads up. If you can handle it, that'd be great. I would, but I'd rather not risk the Matrix spreading in any manner. Because, you know, I like getting on with, uh, along with my neighbors, specifically my human ones. Anyway, let me know, one way or another. Okay, accept the mission. Thanks! That'd be really sweet of you. Okay, so there's that. It's, you know, we can probably fight that, actually. We're gonna save, save this as Zerg... Zarg. There we go. And instead of going home like a crazy person, we're immediately just going to reroute and take care of that. What? Oh, what? Oh, that was weird. Okay, repair bay has completed the task. Gotcha. Uh, so what we want to do next, we want to do... Fuel? I mean, honestly... Let's see if we have Zulf Maddox. Let's just have him do that. Hey, we can almost afford uh, T3. By the way, up oh, the rogue Zlar fleet disappeared in a space. I I feel like that's a bug. Okay, the Abling fleet has entered our vicinity. They're hailing us. Well, well, well. Good to see you again, human revenant leader. I have some bad news for you. We recently did an audit on an outstanding debt obligations, and we are stunned to realize that a debt that your Federation government was meant to replay, repay four yabs ago simply never got paid off. How much does new Terra Oh, Turns out you owe the central Yab Bank 40,000 materials. Wait, how are we liable for new Terra's loan? Well, that's easy. You're, you're the Federation still, dummy. Just because you're experiencing an onset catastrophe that threatens your race's existence doesn't free you from debt obligations. Think of the moral hazard that might cause. Norm now, normally we'd simply offer to seize some of your collateral, say a planet or two, but we'd rather not have to face any of those flesh aliens, frankly. Wow, so what do you want from us? Now we're... we aren't going to be unreasonable. We wouldn't take the payment in monthly... We could take the payment in monthly installments for the foreseeable future. Or you could opt to fight our collect collection fleet. Wait, we can just fight your fleet? Wow, you humans really don't like reading the fine print, do you? E economics isn't our strong suit. Yabbling law stipulates that if the Extinction Event Race Clause Section 333 is invoked, then the debtor race can invoke a trial by combat. Trial by combat, really? Yes! Yeesh, you Terrans make it sound so complicated. The rules are very simple. Anyway, the choice is up to you. Uh, fight? Uh, fair enough. This will degrade your credit score, though. Just letting you know. Okay, so we have to fight them in a second, but first we have to fight these guys. Collective fleet! Okay, the half-robot, half-organic collective are normally a peaceful race, though from time to time they sometimes exude psychopathic tendencies. This seems to be one of those occasions. Start combat. Okay. I haven't fought these guys before. Not sure what they're up to. Let's do a sensors down. I don't know how strong they are. This guy has a lot of HP, but you never know. They seem kind of slow in comparison, though. Oh, they also have the exact same portrait, which actually makes this a bit harder on me. Well, whatever. Let's start going for that one, I guess. Uh, let's do protective field, I think, for the time being. Melt field. Well, that didn't work. Uh, I guess I'll just do harass. See if the bleed will take him out the rest of the way. That looks like an affirmative. I'm not entirely sure how much damage this is going to do, but I can only assume. Yep, there he goes. Hey. Okay. Uh, let's stun him. Let's see if we can just not let him do anything before we kill him off. That's always fun when that happens. Uh, I guess I'll just shoot him. Nah, he'll probably get one action. It's my bet. Okay, dimensional flashbang. Yeah, he gets one shot at me before I kill him. Guess I could have healed just in case we have to fight those yablings right off the bat. But I think we're good. Okay! So there's some of that. Okay, the collective is detected the destruction of its erstwhile components and is hypercasting us again. Perfect, scary stuff, right? Anyway, great. 
that an ancient, psychopathic version of me isn't around to propagate, right? I'll definitely send some materials your way. You humans love materials, after all. Thanks again, buddy. Okay, and we really don't get that much materials for it, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to return home. However, first we're going to stop, and we are going to go all the way up here and research Terran Hangar. And then how much is it to build? A lot more. Oh, well, that's fine. And as Larfleet has entered our sector, sir, they're hailing us, but first they took up artillery position. Telling. Zlar Pesar Gidei Captain. Yanthu supporting Terran dogs. You will hand over that station immediately. R respectfully decline. Okay, now we're under attack. Okay, uh, let's continue replicating with these guys. We'll need the materials. We're losing people. But we don't want to do that. Okay. So, time to fight everybody. Launch, repair all. Okay, before we do though, where's Convoy? Convoy is here. Okay, Yabbling Fleet. The cheerful Yablings aren't often pushed to hostilities, but something's happened to set these ones against you. Prepare to get smited. Okay, so it's just regular Yabbling Fleet. They're pretty fast, it looks like. Which I'd say is an unfortunate reality, but I think we're fine. Eh, they hurt actually a fair bit. Let's start. Let's start with repairs. Bonus damage. I mean, luckily they're not very tough, but they do take a ton of actions. Um. All right. Let's just hit him with a harpoon. Yeah, they actually hurt pretty bad. Wow. Now, all right, let's do that. I mean, once we start taking them out, it's not terrible, but still. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna let's hit him with a harass. There we go. Bleed will kill him, kill him the rest of the way. Okay, so there's one. We don't have anything particularly against either of these guys. I guess we'll go for the serpent. And blind. I do not appreciate how fast these guys are. But I think we've got this, no problem. I guess let's just shoot him with that. It should kill him off. You know, I keep meaning to end this session and this episode and whatever, but it doesn't quite work. Oh well, uh, let's do shock mine. I guess, yeah, that probably would have been the best thing to lead with. Stun them to death. Because that would have actually given me some free time to not have to just play react against the... Yeah, I didn't stun him. Well, I guess that's... Could have been worse, honestly. Okay, Zlaryanthu fleet. The warrior geneticist Zlaryanthu are a vicious, determined, and wildly oversensitive people. Something's happened to set these ones against you, Star Combat. Okay, so this time around, I don't have to, uh... I don't have to play with the kitty gl gloves on. Also, they're not as fast as I am, which is handy. So let's do that nice little damage boost. And then let's use the uh, kill everybody move. At this point, I don't even really have to care too much. Let's blind them. They still, they, they still hurt. I'll give them that. Tough suckers, really. Uh, but I guess we might as well focus on the Exensus. Because every round they're going to just die. Okay, not much to it. I guess I'll stun this guy. Ideally, they all just go out in the same round, but you never know. I guess we'll take out the tough one first. And then release mines, I guess? Huh. Well, that was really easy. Maybe I should have uh, saved the, the Nanite Swarm for the Yavlings. Okay, well, we've received a receipt on the debt obligation cancellation of the Yavling Credit Authority. Following our trial by combat, they are now satisfied. Okay, and we get 75 materials, and... Uh, do we get something from the Zlar? Guess, guess not. Okay, so... Had to make sure 
we weren't under attack by anything. So, you've leveled up. I guess let's get uh, Salvage Harpoon for the time being. Um, let's see, what do we need to build? We need to build this, but oh crap, we need power too. Okay, can we do this? Yeah, okay, it's old freehold, three days. Yeah, we're gonna need a power plant too, I forgot about that bit. Uh, do I have to research ships or, oh, maybe it won't let me research ships until we build the hangar. All right, um, what else can we do here with our comical amounts of money? See, this is engineering? Huh. Okay. Officer Academy. Could try the officer pool. Get another one. What about you? Nine days. Okay, that's not bad. It's just mostly a worry of, well, here's the other one. How long would this take? Eight days. Uh, extra EXP from combat, it's tempting. But we need the materials. Or we could just wait, because we don't need officers that bad yet. Mainly because we don't have a whole lot of use for them, because the spare officers are really just extras for the time being. Transfer crew to fleet. Doesn't look like we've got any more. We've got one more mission, which is build a cruel lab. Oh. Okay. That's actually something we should probably do then. Let's see. Materials multiplier. Can't explore those. Those are too far away. Okay, we'll have any work on that one. Oh, tactical does that faster. Good to know. Um, and we should be fine. Send the convoy. Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of fuel and stuff. We haven't gotten attacked. Up oh, there's the cruel fleet. Okay, we have bloodthirsty natives. So, oh, we've got things. So, Commander, we are cleaning this room for construction. When we came into contact with the form of... Na Nathostomata, invertebrate species native to the station. When we attempted to get close, they angrily spat a batch of corrosive liquid that missed Cadet Finnegan's head by 1.7 millimeters. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's stare down the creatures. This old Freehold's attempts to visually intimidate the creatures fall flat, but in the process, our officer and indeed all unlockers gained a valuable lesson in humility. Okay, so we've got Isol Freehold, Faraday, and Bucky Rogers. These guys should be fine. We heal all. You think you you would have thought Bucky Rogers would have healed up over the course of us not being in combat for a while, but I guess not. All right, let's do battle stims. Drugs. Oh, that's what battle stims does. That is a massive speed boost. Okay. Well, what's he? What's this? Voracious. Inflicts explode, expose, kinetic expulsion, inflicts stunned. Let's start with that. Let's see if I can stun him. Okay, it kind of worked. We'll just punch it in the face. Let's see. I guess we can do transfusion next. I think that's actually a pretty good move, too. Yeah, it actually is. Okay. So just realize these two actually combo off of each other. Very well, holy crap. So yeah, the the Bucky Rogers Isold Freehold one two punch is actually really effective. Though honestly, in ground combat, things are a fair bit weaker, so I guess there's that too. Okay. A little bit of materials and we'll clear the station soon. Or this section soon. Okay, transfer crew to fleet. Send convoy. Under attack again. Prepare for combat. Okay, so we've still got Faraday and we've still got Bucky Rogers. This is why I keep the extra 
the extra people idle. Especially because this group is a fair bit tougher than the previous one. But I think we'll be fine. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Battle stims are going to be rather helpful. So let's start with that. Okay. And then... Oh, crap. No, you're not the one with the, the crazy knife move. So exploits, explodes, and fix, inflicts blindness. Uh, I guess let's go for the weak ones first. Damn. Did not realize we could one-shot things. I guess we can. Okay. Well, I... Yeah, that... That worked out well enough. Holy crap, we do damage. This is what happens when you have, like, a really high-level character that's just rolling around with you. Dude ends up just being a tank. Okay. Not much to do for it. I also love battle stims. Like, d almost doubles your speed. That has made this, this fight a fair bit easier. Okay. Flex blinded. Which I don't think actually combos with anything. Yeah, not... It doesn't, but it doesn't matter. We can also just beat them to death. Yeah! That was fast. Okay. And he gets ground combat. Ooh! Ground con... Oh, nope. There we are. Bucky Rogers gets an aim bonus, and it's two days before that. You haven't even made it there, so yeah, we'll be fine. Acknowledged. Transfer crew. Send a fleet. Let's see. They replicated 75 materials with the replicator. You know, let's just continue that for the time being. Okay, transfer fuel. Let's see. Are we done working yet? Oh, come on. You gotta be close. You gotta be real close. It'd be nice if you could actually have uh, send in reinforcements or something. But no dice. Is that actually all the stuff? It is. There's materials there. Not going to be able to get to it. Well, I guess for the time being, let's... Return the convoy home. Okay. Acknowledged. Stop. Stop. Okay. Our best guess is that some kind of cruel spawning spore platform. We've called it a spire. We should send a fleet of sufficient strength to investigate. Okay, so we need to take care of that very soon because we just had a cruel spire show up. Up. However, we've got our uh, we've got our our combat fleet ready to go. So go go henchbots, pair all, and they of course have sent out dudes. Though the dudes actually look a bit weaker. Okay, now it's time to start getting really pugilistic here. Effectively, we need to go close those portals. We need to clear the planets from being under attack. And small pirate delegation has arrived nearby. I'm patching them through now. This is the Lieutenant Starstabber reporting on half of the Admirax. What can I do for you, Starstabber? An important facility has been cornered by a cruel fleet and is in danger of being overrun. The Admirax sent me here to request aid against our mutual enemy, with the warning that if this facility falls, it would greatly hinder our war prepar preparedness in the future. Okay, let's well, aid that. There was something else there that I guess we didn't see. <sighs> this is going to be a pain. We're going to have to fight a ton of people. Let's do continue replication for the time being. Okay, so we get material. Hey, that's just enough. Okay, view. Build. No, it's not enough. We need to get the reactor first. Damn. Oh, it's definitely not enough. So. Th okay, so we need to make a reactor. We need a lot of materials here. Well, I guess I'm stuck with T2 for the time being, but that's fine. You're a big sucker. The rest look pretty weak, though. So that's good. At the very least. Okay. So I can't do what I want to do here. Let's go for the young Impaler for the time being. Ow. Yeah, going for the young Impaler seems like a brilliant idea. Because damage happened. Okay, luckily they are slow. 
Okay. So you know what? Let's stun him. Yeah, we're up against some of the tough... Uh, we're kind of getting into the higher tiers at this point. And we're going to be in trouble. Okay, so let's do Harass. Let's do Flak Barrage. Well, the nice part is we can effectively hammer this guy into the ground and possibly even kill him uh, before he gets more than one shot off. Yep, there it goes. Okay, harass you. Broadside salvo. Yeah, this is gonna work out. Just a bit rough around the bits. Let's stun him for the time being. I'll let this bleed run out. I might have been able to exploit it for a little bit longer, but looks like we're actually going into a lot of this full health. Um, I guess we'll hit him with that. Hit him with the blind. Didn't get them both. Did get the damage? He sort of did. Whatever. Okay. This'll do. Nope. Just basic portal gun for this. Dimensional flashbang. Salvage harpoon. I mean, at this point, uh, the battles are going to start folding real fast for me. Or are going to be absolute struggles. This game has kind of a... A rough roller coaster ride of an end game. Uh, or mid game? Because we're still on Act 1, and I know there's an Act 2, which has me really concerned. Well, at least we get Dark Matter, and we get bonuses, and we get materials for the fleet, and leave system. Okay. So next up, send fleet, henchbots, you. Right. Uh, do we want to send out the convoy? We probably don't want to send out the convoy. Okay. So we got these guys. These guys, not as... Well... It's always going to be rough. Targeting support. And realistically, let's do a shock mine straight to the chopper. Okay, then we do defenses. Good timing. Okay, flashbang. Harpoon. We're getting this down. Do we heal yet? No, I don't think so. Let's stun him. Might as well maximize the amount of uh, stuns we can pull off here. No, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. It'll be fine. He'll be di he'll be done in seconds. There he goes. Okay. Yeah, this actually worked out really well. I'm just, I'm just worried about losing any ships or doing anything particularly not stupid. How does he still have the sensors offline? It's supposed to be off? What? Well, whatever. I'm not entirely sure if the little HP bar at the bottom here quite reflects what's going on on these ships. He looks a lot closer to death here than he does in game. Well, I don't know. Okay, do we want to do... I guess I'll just do a dimensional flashbang and take him out the rest of the way there. Probably should have just hit him with the harass instead of using the flashbang, but it also doesn't matter too much. All that's left is an elder clipper, or an adult clipper, my bad. As far as things that are dangerous go, that does not rank particularly high highly. Used to be. Used to be a concern. Now, eh, eh, you know... Eh. Easy peasy. Okay, we are fighting everything today. But, this does give us a huge amount of, um... Oh, hey. Uh, it gets me promotions, which is great. I guess I'll put points into Cloak? Really wish I could switch that out with something a little bit more useful, but guess not. Stasis Lock. Stasis Lock's actually good. Okay, so now we keep pugilisming. I'm gonna take out these portals, which might actually be pretty easy. Okay, keep replicating. Yeah, this is gonna be real easy, because uh, th these are groups that I've, I've actually been leaving since the beginning of the game. They've still been spinning units at us, but they've never themselves gotten any more dangerous. 
which is incredibly handy. Okay. Not much I can do here. I guess we'll just stun the basher. Put him on the back burner for a second. Let's see if I can harass him to death. Yep. Take out the aberrant. I guess I'll do nano restoration field. Like, eh, I could wait. I guess part of it is like, I could wait, but why? Waiting is just going to uh, not prolong the inevitable. But uh, it's really not actually going to help that much more or less than uh, I was really hoping that would give him an engine's down. Okay, whatever. Oh, and he's not bleeding anymore. Damn it. I guess we'll just do this for the time being. How's how's he doing? Almost dead, that's how he's doing. I guess I'll hit him with the strong moves. Yeah. I'm actually getting to the point where I'm, I'm tempted to see if I can turn off battle animations, if only because these battles are starting to get a little bit drag on -y. But I guess part of it also has to do with the fact that, okay, uh, so there won't be any more cruel from the sector. That's good. Next portal. We are fighting everything we can possibly do. What? Okay. So Larianthu has arrived, sent us a hail. Terran Starbase, based on the wreckage floating nearby, it seems you did us a favor, destroying the fleet of our rebel nemesis, the Zlar Pesar Gode. We apologize that you were forced to take part in our internal conflict, but we are highly impressed with your adroitness. It was nothing. On behalf of the Zlarianthu director, we formally thank you for your actions. And that's that. Okay. Uh, let's start sending out the convoy again. It's about time. We need to go help those pirates, honestly. I'm hoping it's not one of those where uh, we actually lose access to it. It's just I really am trying to clean up as much as possible. We need to make a cruel lab. Research and make a cruel lab. Uh, which would be rather important, but I haven't had time. Okay, let's just salvage our boot him. Let's see. I guess if we do warp atomic structure, it should do a ton of damage to him, right? Like 200? Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's all we needed, because yeah, I can harass him down the rest of the way. Okay, let's throw a shock mine at the aberrant. Let's throw a stun at the basher. Okay, now they're both stunned. Aberrant it is, broadside salvo. Maybe I could have actually just shot him. But this works out. Ish. Yeah, I should have left the bleed longer. But then again, what does this ship even do? That's the, that's the one problem with the Magus. It only works for like a couple of setups, but it also works as an amazing healer. Uh, which I will absolutely give it. Oh, interesting. Do Elder Bashers get stunned for longer? They might. Looking at it now, that's actually an entirely an entire possibility here. Yeah, I really wish there was like... I like the talent tree system in this game. I just wish it went a little bit deeper. If only so I could actually like customize my moves a bit so I could have easier combos. But that might also make the game substantially easier. So I can kind of see why they wouldn't want that sort of thing. Fortunately, we're going to be a little bit injured going into the next fight, but things are looking up for me. Mostly. We still need those materials pretty badly. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. Now we go for you. What's this group going to be? Actually, not so bad. Just gas and stuff. And where's the pirate facility that we need to save? Is it, th is it this? Missions. Pirate mining facility. Do I all the way down there. What? Okay. Well, I'm not going to take out the cruel portal yet, because that always results in bad. Taking out the cruel portal would be unfortunate. Okay. I guess we'll go with the young ghast first. These guys are probably going to be a little bit more on the hurdy side, so we should probably be 
a little bit more careful. Do targeting support. Start with the damage. Not much has happened yet. I guess I'll hit the gas. I love the sprite work that was done for this game. Pixels and whatever. Reminds me a lot of Steridin in very good ways. Steridin was fun. I should see if they've updated the game. Probably not. And also I suck at bull uh well not bullet hells, but whatever. Okay. So harass is about to go up. And he's about to die. Let's just release mines at them. Because we can hit him with the portal breach and then problem solved. Okay. So he's done. Next, another harass. And a stun. Could have maybe stunned the aberrant. I actually... Do gas have healing? They do have brood pods. Okay. That was always a... That's always a question. I guess we'll hit him with the bleed. Okay. I mean, at this point, everything's kind of folded for me, and we don't have to worry too hard. Uh, at least with this section. I think... Is this the last of my facilities that I need to save? I think so. We also need to get down there for that, that other facility. This game literally doesn't... Literally doesn't. This game never gives you any time to breathe. Which kind of sucks. Like, I love it, but it's just like... I just... I just love a moment where I can sit sit down and relax and be like, alright, I'm gonna work on all of those things that I haven't been doing this entire playthrough. And it doesn't do that. And, and like, that's what the other officers are supposed to be like, but they don't get experience, so it's just like, my research is just kind of on the, the back burner forever. I guess if I had multiple fleets flying around, that would kind of work. But still... They'd probably get blown up real fast. Oh, nope, we have one more... One more thing to save. Then we can go help those pirates. Transfer the crew. 